what's going on guys so today we're gonna be splitting up hopefully all this cherry here it's probably about two face cords maybe a little bit more uh, there's some more under the tarp back there but we'll be doing it with the champion again we'll do a little review on it as we go talk about a couple pros and cons on it and then we'll get to splitting but all right so the first thing about this log splitter that's pretty annoying is you always have to shut off the gas before you tow it otherwise it'll get flooded and then you have to take the spark plug out and pull it a bunch of times i usually just get the air gun out and blow in the spark plug hole until it's dry and put it back in and start it up and it works fine um the gas tank is actually pretty big i think it's like two gallons two and a half gallons so it lasts you can split on one tank all day um other than that it, re it really isn't a bad log splitter for the price i think it was like 1600 bucks but the only thing i did have to do is this hydraulic line right here that goes to the pump um this right here the hose actually ripped it, it's ribbed like it has a metal spring on the inside that keeps the tubing a little bit stiff so it doesn't move around like these do and it actually ripped at one of those springs and it was <laughs> i got pretty covered in it so put this clamp on here and it's been good ever since i don't like where they put the hydraulic filter because if a log falls off the splitter and hits it you can see i don't know if you guys can see it but it's a little bit dented right here and right here from little stuff hitting it but you really got to watch i was thinking about welding a plate on here or something just to protect it a little bit all right also in the vertical position whenever i'm splitting big logs this hose stretches and it rubs up against this right here and you can kind of see it right in here where it's starting to wear a little bit so that's another thing so i usually stick like a block of wood in between here once i get it up in the vertical position but other than that it's a very good log splitter it splits i've had 43 or 46 inch cherry wood before i moved them around with the bobcat got them split up just for size reference these were 32 so you can imagine how big a 46 would be on there but yes yeah, lifted it up with the bobcat moved it around finagled it got them all split up i had two 46 or 42 inch cherry logs they weren't good for milling they were all knotted but i got like three phase cords out of two six foot logs on that talk about the engine a little bit I guess it's their own brand engine. Champion makes their own, I guess. So, it's not like it's a Honda or a Kohler or something. Name brand, but I mean, I'll almost guarantee it every time that it starts on the first or second pull. So, can't complain too much about that, but we'll get it started. See if I'm lying or not.
this. So, as you can see, got honestly probably a third of that split already. About 15 minutes, I'd say. Maybe 20. But, as you can see, the champion gets it done. I mean, I really don't have any complaints about it. Other than them little cons at the beginning of the video. Other than that, you see it powers through those probably 12, 16 inch logs like they're not even there. It doesn't even bog down whenever it first touches them. But yeah, that's it for this one. Any questions, leave them in the comments about the splitter. I'll do my best to answer them. But thanks. Hope to see you guys on the next one.